hey guys welcome back to my channel i missed you guys i haven't filmed a video in so long well actually i've been filming shorts like often but i haven't sh shoot it shoot shoot it <laughs> i haven't filmed a diy fashion video in like so long like a long a long form one and when i decided to create this dress i was like let me just go ahead and make this a full video because i just feel like i need to push out more content for you guys because the shorts may not be as informational as they need to be you know they kind of show you the gist but they don't really break it down for you so with this dress let me pull pull the dress up too so you guys youtube don't think i don't have any clothes on but i figured that this dress would be a good diy project for my youtube community and i've been putting some of the videos on tiktok and instagram and all over but I just wanted to bring this one to you because this one turned out so cute now if you're new to this channel I'm Brittany I talk about things DIY fashion beauty pretty much everything I love to do I teach you how to do it so this is a fashion DIY sewing video and if you are into that then continue to watch <laughs> Now the inspiration for this video was a Zara dress that I actually picked up from the store and it was just like a denim mini dress and it was so cute but when I bought it I was like I could actually make this so I decided to make one and ironically my friend gave me three pair of jeans that somebody gave her that were too big for her and I was like I know exactly what to do with these jeans. Now if you're a DIY sewer like me people always give you stuff. I have like boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff that people just give me to say, hey, make something out of. So I'm very appreciative of all the people who donate to me and give me stuff. And it allowed me to be able to make this little cute denim dress that I think is very great and simple for beginners. So if you're a beginner sewer and you want to seam strip, well, they say it's not sewist, it's not sewer anymore. It's sewist. So I have to get used to saying sewist. If you're a beginner sewist, then this video is for you. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up because the more likes and the more thumbs up and the more comments I get actually encourages me to do more content for you guys because it just helps me know that it's working for you guys and you guys are learning something and it just motivates me so i motivate you i inspire you you inspire me and that's how we build this just be tv community okay first we're going to start with a pair of denim jeans these are actually capris but i would say use some denim jeans because you're going to be cutting out some fabric and the more fabric you have the better so you're just going to cut along the center seam all the way up including the crotch area and you're going to make sure that you cut along the line try to cut as straight as possible because you're going to need that seam for later so once you cut this crotch seam out you're going to fold them in half and you're going to use whatever you have to decide the length of your dress now because i'm copying a dress that i already have I'm just going to lay that on top and use that as a guide for where I want to cut it. But you can always put it up to yourself and decide where you want it. I actually made my dress a little bit shorter than the inspiration dress. Now of course you can make this dress even longer. And this is kind of like identical to my other denim dress which was all the way down to the ankles. But this is a mini dress. So you're going to take some scissors and cut along that line. Mine were already folded where I wanted it and so I just cut a little bit below because I'm going to have some fraying at the end because I want this to look kind of raw. So then you're going to turn it inside out and you're going to put the center seams on the side. And you're going to cut that straight up. I kind of add a little bit of a curve so that when I put it down, face down, that it's actually a triangle. So giving it a little curve just makes it look a little bit less just sharp. And you're going to do that to both sides of your fabric. You're then going to open your pants back up and put the seam back in the center. Now you're going to take that excess fabric that you cut off the leg and you're going to cut it along the seam. Because you're going to be putting a seam the long way. 
So you're gonna cut both pieces because you're gonna need one for the front and the back. So you just put those together and you're going to sew along the top seam and create a longer panel. Then you place that panel underneath your fabric into the triangle and you're just going to simply pin it down. Once you pin that complete panel down, you're gonna to go to your sewing machine and you're gonna stitch it alongside the triangle. Next is finishing the waistband. Now you can definitely leave the waistband like this, but as you can see, my inspiration dress has a little bit of a curve where the top is fr the front is higher than the back. So what I like to do is just cut along the waistband and leave about four inches in the front where the buckle is, but just cut all the way around the back also removing the little belt loops because we're going to sew those back on so be very careful use a seam ripper i'm using scissors but use a seam ripper it's just going to be easier then you're going to go where the bottom hem of your waistband is i don't know what that's called but you're just going to cut that off and you're going to go all the way around to the front connecting that to the front where you cut just watch just if that hope that makes sense kind of hard to explain but the video explains what I mean you're then gonna place an inspiration dress on top to give you a guide of where to cut your curves at for your waist measurement now again I have an inspiration dress but you can use any type of dress that has that curve or you can also place it on your body turn it inside out and pin it and that will also give you an idea of where you want to cut it so I'm just marking it where the dress curves naturally and then I'm just going to cut that off with some scissors and stitch it down it's just that simple the hardest part is if you don't have this dress is to find a dress with a natural contour or again put it on your body and design it to your natural contour of your body for me to make sure that both my sides are always symmetrical i always cut off one side and then i take that piece and i put it on the other side and use that as a guide to make sure that the other side is identical to the left side even though i did mark it already i just do this for extra measures just because i don't want it to be mistakenly different on the other side because definitely definitely it's possible actually it happens more times than you think now one thing i didn't tell you is that i was actually able to put my dress on without a zipper but if you need a zipper this is where you will place your zipper on the left side of your dress so you will put it on one side and sew up the other if you don't know how to add a zipper then you can check another youtube tutorial or maybe i'll do one comment if you want me to do a video on how to add a zipper but you will add a zipper on the side of this dress and that will allow you to help you get in the dress now my denim is stretched denim so i actually was able to just put it over my head when i opened the buttons up in the front but again if you have issues with that then go ahead and add a zipper into your dress Now after you stitch up the side, the last thing you need to do is to sew back down the waistband. I just literally overlap it on the top, but if you want to be extra, you can actually seam rip apart the waistband and stitch the fabric back inside the waistband. But because I'm going to have fraying details and like raw edges, me just overlapping it was going to be fine for my outfit. Once that's stitched, here are the final results.